And hit him. And now the Astros dugout just exploded. And now both sides are getting into it. Here we go. Now Scott Service, one of the first to spill out. That escalated quickly. Now somebody said something. I think what Ty was doing is he said that it hit him. The umpire said it didn't, and then Ty looked at the dugout and wanted Scott to take a look at it. Now hope everybody calms down a little bit. In the beanball wars on Patriots Day in Boston, Dave Collins of Detroit, a target of the White Sox last week, has a new adversary, Red Sox pitcher Al Nipper. Collins and Nipper exchanging pleasantries. They do not appear to be fond of one. Deep in the heart of Texas, temperatures and tempers were rising as Texas Rangers third baseman Steve Bouchelle took the law into his own hands. That's Kansas City Royals' Rudy Law, who took exception to the aggressiveness of Bouchelle, all breaking loose for several minutes. Milwaukee, Mark Clear of the Brewers hit Steve Lombardozzi of the Twins, who did want to chat about it with Clear, but plate umpire Ken Kaiser had other ideas. Kaiser can be convincing. Later on, following a hard slide at second, Jim Gantner with the pin down of Lombardozzi, leading to both teams pouring onto the field. Over. Tied at five. Angels pinch hitter John Morris. Lines one to left off Calvin Jones. Here's Chad Curtis rumbling home. Here is Dave Valley with an emphatic tag All right on your Chad. And we're at war, the nation of Chad versus the Dave Bowie boy. Check out Louis Polonia coming up here. Hold me back, hold me back, I'll moitalize him. I'll tear him limb from limb, I'll moitalize him. And uh, who drew Kevin Mitchell in this brouhaha? Poor Rene Gonzalez who asks, May I have my neck back, please? No. The news of the past week featuring Cleveland manager Pat Corrales attempting the kick. Oakland pitcher Dave Stewart countered with a punch. Stewart obviously with no respect for Corrales, who does possess a brown like belt. Said, pitching inside is part of game. After he was talking, whatever he was saying, I just said, come on, if you if you want something, come on. He kicked you first, didn't he? And he tried to kick me, a sissy. And you can't whip somebody, you try the next best thing. Kid. The fourth inning, George Bell gets crisscrossed, nailed in the ribs by Chris Bazio. He's not happy. Next batter, Robin Ventura, looks what happens at second base. Pat Listas gets the flip and the forearm from George Bell. He's called for interference, make it a double play. Listas and Robin Yount take exception to the play, and it's a bench-clearing brawl. A.J. Pierzynski facing Cologne. Cologne off target, right in the back. Both teams would get a warning. Ron Gardenhire wants to know what his team did wrong. Jack Crescent pitching for the Twins hits Ricky Gutierrez in the leg. This is baseball, folks. Crescent gets tossed. Benches would clear. Messages would be sent. No punches would be thrown. Go it comes up next inning and gets hit in the leg. Ouch. Mike Thurman did the damage. Young would take a good look at him. And then he and Michael Barrett would get into it. The benches would clear some aggressive milling around. Three with two walks. However, Felix Rodriguez bang on Sean Casey. Rodriguez says, sometimes you have to protect your hitters. Casey says, I've got a little kid at home and a wife. Sometimes you have to take care of things yourself. Says, it's the maddest he has ever been. They all came out, stared at each other. No punches were thrown. Dusty Baker said, nobody sir. This one sails over his head. Two balls and a strike, and Martinez took exception to that. You're hitting 403, pal. Relax. You ducked into it. Bunked it in front of the plate. Be a tough play at first. Wow, very dangerous play there for Teixeira, who had to reach into the runner. And we've seen players really get hurt. Yeah, I think that Teixeira felt like his foot was where it was supposed to be, and he might have. But Teixeira's mad at Gomez because he thought he, he thought Gomez should have been in the baseline. He thought that uh, you know, that's, that's a dangerous play. You know, we've seen a lot of first basemen get hurt, breaking arms. Brian Roberts, the second baseman for the Orioles, got that. You can see Garden Howard and uh, Girardi really going at it. But Teixeira was jawing. That's down the right field line. 
And DeRosa makes the catch one down. Another name on that list besides Carlton and Perry and uh, Lamar Hoyt is uh, Don Drysdale. Carlos Gomez has something to say to Cliff Lee. And Victor Martinez to his credit kept anything from happening. I have no idea what Gomez took exception to. Well Lee may have said something like way to swing away see you make it out anyway. Astros have featured the big inning. Well, Lee is getting into it with Carpenter now, and Molina trying to keep him away from the Cardinal pitcher. Carlos Lee took for Carlos, offense yeah. at something that Carpenter did or said, and now the bench is empty very slowly and deliberately. Carpenter yelling in at somebody on the Astros bench, and he apparently gets himself very worked up for a start, and we've seen this before from Carpenter. Now they're coming in from the bullpen. So that's completely unnecessary. Go in this inning. And Randall gets hit. And that's kind of suspect. Robles, new to the Red Sox, comes in and hits Gritchick. Uh, and they have just issued a warning. And now the Blue Jays are upset. And everybody's coming out of the game. And Cora gets to Robles as. Robles came over toward the Blue Jays dugout and now Jim Wolf is saying hey you Blue Jays get back in the dugout. <laughs> 